This is Levi Sim for PhotoFocus.com, and I'm sitting here with Matt Kay again. What's uh, up? <laughs> it's, you know, not a lot of, just, just uh, being a photographer. Yeah. How about you? It's, yeah, good stuff, man. Yeah, you've got, uh, some, you've got some new changes. Yeah, I um, have. So, uh, you're a Sony man. Yeah, I switched you've about switched. a year ago. What, and uh, what, it was. What things enticed you? I've always liked Sony. I, I've, I've, sure. I've dabbled. I've dabbled with Sony for for probably the last four years. Where you know, uh, I, I I got to shoot an A A seventy seven and right. an A ninety nine, which were remarkable point. cameras. Yeah. And, and innovative. Really oh, very innovative. very much yeah. so. Um, and I really liked them. And I, you know, I was I loved my uh, my Nikon D eight hundred and D eight ten. And and as a landscape photographer, that that clarity and that detail right. that, that 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 camera gives you right. um, was really big for me. And I would never switch. Um, I, as much as I liked Sony, I could never get there until the A7R2 came out. Okay. And so when that thing came out, I was like, I got to try it out, and I'm like, I'm in. I'm like, this is. It's, it's got the is, resolution. It's got the well, and the lenses are phenomenal. The lenses are phenom phenomenal. It, it had the resolution, and then. It got all the features mm -hmm. that I needed. You know, the A7R had all the fee all the, all the resolution that I needed sure. too, comparable with my Nikon. Um, but then the the two came along with all the features that I thought were missing before. And once that happened, I'm like, I'm in. That, that's um, how it was for me too when I switched to mirrorless. I, I I handled the the earlier models of the cameras, and and I'm, I I use the Panasonic cameras. Yeah. And then the latest ones, they're just I yeah. mean, I, they're doing things that are just amazing. Yeah. So, what what are some of your favorite features? Um, so, favorite features, I'd say, uh, I, I, it's a. Some people don't like it. I love the electronic viewfinder. Me too. Um, I and I think the reason why I like it is because I mean I did shoot film um, at one point, but I I always I would always say to people later on. This was you know this was a couple of years ago. I'd always say to people. I wish I could look through the viewfinder and click a button on uh, my regular DSLR that says capture this photo. <laughs> Cuz your your photo never looks like it does through the exactly. viewfinder cuz your your viewfinder is your eye and it's the right. depth and the tones that your eyes can see and you click that button and we all know your camera can't see it. Right. Um, so for better or for worse, the electronic viewfinder shows you exactly the picture you're about to take. Yeah. It doesn't show you the real world. It doesn't show you a it scale at the bottom that says this is actually going to be a lot darker. Than yeah, this. So yeah. It's going to be a lot brighter. Than yeah. This. It shows you exactly the picture yeah. you're about to take. So um, to me, it's huge. You know, I, when um, you know landscapes, it's great because I see the picture I'm about to take. I take like I a figure, third fewer pictures. Yeah, because I can figure out. Okay, yeah. you know, I don't need to bracket this mm -hmm. because I'm looking at the picture and everything looks good. Um, nothing's blown out, you know. You can see the histogram. You can see all that stuff. Right, right. So um, you can. And, you know, a lot of people don't know. You can see the histogram before you take the photo. Yes. Like you can see. You can see the blinkies even yeah. before you, you yeah. shoot the picture. Um, so so the the EVF is a big one for me. I love I love the fact that you know after I take the picture, um, rather than when you're outside and you're looking at the yes. glary back of the screen, you can hold it up. And you see the right. picture inside there. You're not, you're not like there. peeking over, yeah. like trying to shade the thing and shade your face. Yeah, yeah you can look and, right in the screen and, and review it. People don't get it. You know, they're mm -hmm. like, I hand them the camera and they're like this. I'm like, no, look through the viewfinder. They're like, huh? I'm like, just trust me. And they look, oh, wow, <laughs> you know, because they could see the picture. <laughs> right. And it's great when, whenever I do portrait shoots uh -huh. because as you're, as you're shooting and you're looking through, click, click, you see the picture you just took. Right. So if their eyes are closed or something like that, it's yep. like you see. Yep. You see the picture. You don't have to go off chimp. Right. Look. Oh God, your eyes are shut. Let's try this again. You know what I mean? It's just like keep yeah. shooting. Um, so when the, when I do portraits, I've had to develop a new habit because because I, I can be doing a portrait and looking at you, and then I can press the play button, and I'm I'm reviewing the picture. Yeah. But you don't know I'm not taking a picture. Exactly. Anymore. So I've, I've had to start tilting the camera downward when I'm not shooting, yeah. so that so that people aren't on. You yeah. Know, yeah. So exactly. They get a break. I won't dwell on the size. It's nice to have a smaller camera. Sure. My, my backpack is now not much bigger than my laptop. Uh -huh. um, everything gets smaller. So it's nice to have. It's not super, especially with the Sony, it's not a ton smaller. Mm -hmm. You know, I'd say it's about a third less weight. So it's good. I'm not going to overrate it and say like, oh my God, you know, I feel like I'm carrying right. a feather on my back now right. when I have my gear with me. But it is nice to, everything is smaller, which means your backpack gets smaller, right. which means it's just easier to, I mean, to I, take around. I used to carry the, the D8, uh, D800 with a battery grip yeah. and, and a 14 to 24 on the front. Yeah. 
And when I stopped carrying that around, <laughs> it's a monster. My wrist quit hurting. I, yeah. I had like an old ski injury that was yeah. killing me, and it doesn't hurt anymore. Yeah. It, it's not insignificant to have so. any weight loss on there. Yeah. So. That's um, good. What else? What else? Apps. Yes, because the Sony, you can are, you can get different apps yeah, in there. That, huh? So apps are apps were like the the sleeper cell that I didn't expect from <laughs> Sony. Um, I, it wasn't a reason why I went to Sony, uh -huh. and it is a reason why I can't. I, I I'm I'm stuck. You know, uh -huh. I'm like I'm in. Um, what, what, are, what do they do for you? So so there's two that I use a lot. There's one called Sky HDR, and what it does is you set the app up. It uh -huh. takes one properly exposed photo. And then it takes one underexposed photo right. for the sky. Okay. Um, so it's great for a landscape photographer. It basically simulates a graduated ND filter, mm -hmm. but it does it in camera. After you take the two photos, you can determine where you want to put the graduated line really? after. So you can look really? at the shot. It's kind of like being in Lightroom. It's kind of like being in Lightroom on the back of your camera. You can look at the, the shot. You can decide where you want to put it. Yeah. Um, and then when you hit save, it saves you a raw file. No way. So it's not. It's, it's not. It's like a, a raw. It's JPEG, like a multiple like exposure still, raw file. Yeah. It's people talk about like I want to get it right in camera. What's getting it right in camera better than two properly exposed photos put together? <laughs> not not a piece of glass held yes, in front of your your absolutely. camera that you're faking your right. camera out that, with. That like makes the top of my that, trees just, too dark. There's no yeah. better getting it right in camera than that, and it That's gives you amazing. a raw file. Um, That's really incredible. And then there's a smooth reflection one, which if you get up to a waterfall and uh -huh. you don't have an ND filter, um, or a lake where you want to yeah. calm it down and do like a long exposure and you don't have ND filters, oh, no. it takes multiple exposures, merges them all together, and again gives you a raw file. Really? Um, and, and I've compared it for a lot of my, I do a lot of long exposure uh -huh. ND stuff, and, uh, and the results are, are great. So That's really remarkable. What else? Really the uh, the tilt screen is awesome. Oh no kidding! Um, yeah, yeah. I was just in no in more Montana. laying on your stomach. The wildflowers. The yeah. The wildflowers, dude. I mean, you you. But they're only eight inches people, off the ground. People were saying that this was the best in ten years. Oh man! It was fields. We gotta of, get up there. Of crazy fields of wildflowers. Yeah. But you know, it, it kind of keeps you shooting because the sun comes up and you mm -hmm. think sunrise is done. All right, the light's gonna get harsh. But the, I mean, as the sun gets higher. All these wildflowers, you can actually keep shooting mm -hmm. because now you can get down below them. Mm -hmm. You can put the sun behind them, get that little sun star, and then the 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 screen and you can still see it tilts up. So it's like I can get my camera down, but I can see it. Right. And it, it is. It's like eight inches off the ground. I would yeah. never be able to see it. So that's a big one. Um, face detection. Oh man, yeah, shooting for portraits, portraits, just it's bam. Amazing. I mean, it just detects the face. I don't have to focus. And um, I do videos of myself sometimes teaching. And it's nice. I don't need a, an assistant. Yeah. Because I just get behind the camera and it focuses. And it keeps, you, on, keeps on your me, face in so. focus. That's awesome. Um, okay, so. so those are some of your favorite things. Yeah, what yeah. were some things that, you know, what what what's a weakness? You got to give us a weakness. What's a weakness. You're, you're, um, you were a little I, surprised by. I'd always heard about it, and and it's true. Battery life. Is, oh sure. Uh, because you got to imagine it's all digital. Right. You're watching a computer screen all the yeah. time. Yeah. So it's all all digital. Like it's constantly on. Yeah. Your, your screen is constantly on, which live view on a DSLR will eat up your battery. Much faster, I find than than, than this yeah. actually does. So yeah. same thing. Same thing here yeah. is is it eats up your battery. So. But we can uh, also mitigate that by turning off the review. Um, disabling the main, the, the large screen, and yeah. just using the viewfinder. There's there's things you can yeah. Do. There's things you can do. I found I went I uh, I took a trip to Iceland in mm -hmm. February, and so we were shooting morning through night. And what I found was I was going through about uh, a, a battery morning till afternoon, and then a battery afternoon till night. And that's shooting a yeah. lot. That's um, not unreasonable though. It's not. You know, I I found I found two batteries and a charger. For twenty six bucks on Amazon, oh, um, Wasabi I think is the right. name of the company. <laughs> right. So and they, they work great. The reviews are great. They they yeah. they're, the the chargers. It comes with a charger too. Mm -hmm. um, so now you've got two chargers and twenty six bucks. So right. before I went on the trip, I bought like two Wasabi or three power packages. Of them of, of I've got them. some of those as well. Now now the guys at Panasonic tell me that that if the battery has a problem, they actually know that you weren't using an on-brand battery and, and it may not be covered under warranty. Uh -oh. But, you know, <laughs> for 26 bucks, yeah. man, I can't beat it. Yeah, yeah. it's tough, man. And so. they, they don't last quite as long as the on-brand battery. Yeah. For 26 bucks? For 26 yeah. bucks, it's, it's good. <laughs> So yeah. Uh, so yeah, the battery life is, uh, I think that's a big one. Yeah, that's but good. It's like, it, it doesn't, 
I don't shoot as such that it bothers, like it, 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 it interrupts me. It's not hard for me. Like I know when I'm gonna go shoot, I look at the battery life and I throw a battery in my pocket if I think I'm gonna need it. And it's pretty easy to swap out. So, so those, those features are actually powerful features that are affecting the way you shoot because you're able to shoot longer because you can go out and shoot, you can, you can get it lower than you ever could before, photographing those wildflowers, things like that. Um, what other things have you changed about your photography using this mirrorless camera? Um, it kind of keeps me creative because I'm not worrying about the techie stuff as much. Right. Um, but, I shoot you know, manual it, mode 100. percent Is it? What, do you do you shoot manual mode? No, I'm more aperture priority you're still, guy. You're still aperture, yeah. yeah. But uh, you know what? Here's here's the thing. At the end of the day, it's it doesn't make my pictures better. Right. You know, my no, pictures, you're still, it's still you. My yeah. pictures are no better the because of this. The composition doesn't change. Um, but, I, I yeah. can't look back at my work and say, oh my God, my photos are so much better now that I switched right. to Sony. Right. Um, whatever camera you have is going to be good. Ah. The way I explain it is it makes my experience better. And uh, photography yeah. for me is a lot about experience. Mm -hmm. um, it's not just the destination to go get the shoot, but it's the experience of getting there, the experience of taking the photos. And so, so experience counts. Absolutely. And it makes my experience better. Again, my photos, I, I could take the same photo with any camera mm -hmm. you give me, I'll make a good photo. But it's the experience of doing it. So it's, uh, it was a good move for me. I don't know if right. it's a good move for everybody else, but the best I can do is just kind of share what worked for me. Excellent. Well, thanks for joining us. Thanks, man. Where can we find some of these fancy new pictures you've been shooting? Uh, fancy new pictures. It's at uh, fancynewpictures.com. Uh, <laughs> fancy new pictures by Matt. <laughs> no. um, it's uh, my my website is mattk.com. So that's where I'll be putting all my education. I've got a uh, I've got a monster Lightroom. Um, kind of ultimate Lightroom training course that's coming up this fall. Excellent. You'll let us know and, when that uh, happens. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Oh, I definitely will. Don't Good. worry about that. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, mattk.com is where I put all my stuff. Well, it's always a pleasure to have you here. Thanks, man. Thank uh -oh. you. Thanks for everybody for, uh, for tuning in, too. Yeah. Thank you very much.